This face got to look super familiar to y'all. <laughs> like, she, she was on Netflix. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what was yes. it called? Rhythm and, Rhythm and Flow. Rhythm and Flow. Yes, it is uh, Netflix. T.I., yep. Cardi. Yep. What was that Chance experience the like? Chance, uh -huh. Chance. Chance the one that selected me, actually. Jeez. All of my niggas, they still in the struggle. They say no niggas with money, no muscle. I'm fucking up good with using no rubber. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Up. Fuck with us wrong and you niggas in trouble. The 40s, they took, ain't no time, no tussle. I fucking them, gone ain't Best no of the best no entertainment time. presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, of becoming an established artist. Today, we rocking out with a entrepreneur, actor, mentor, businesswoman, singer, Ooh. rapper, powerhouse. <laughs> Did I introduce you correctly? Yeah, 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 yeah. Introduce yourself for me. No, actually, that was real good. <laughs> but you know, it's just like when people say it like that, I be like, dang, that's a lot. It's a lot. But I guess so, You, you do a lot, but welcome to the show. <laughs> well, welcome back, because we, we did it. We, it's a longer way to interview. So Absolutely. you've been you've been all around the world, you've been doing all kind of stuff. So yeah. go on, give us a little spill what you've got going on. I mean I mean, as you said, you know, my name is Kaylee Crossfire. Uh I am a female, you know, entrepreneur. I'm just gonna sum it up and just say a female entrepreneur as well as a female musician. Um, some of the things that I have currently going on is I have launched a music academy. Um, I have launched a like a beauty spa uh, business. Um, I have a lot of things in the works. You know, you, your girl just be trying oh, slow to. Slow down, slow down, you know slow down. You can't just spoof over this okay, stuff. Okay, so okay, okay. Let's, let's talk about this music academy. <laughs> let's talk about this music academy absolutely, that you started. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Fueling Your Fire Music Academy. Um, you know what? That was started about two years ago. And I started that basically as a way to help up and coming musicians kind of learn about the mm. music business. Cause you know, uh, mm. you know we was out here in these streets. Jeez. You know what Jeez. I'm saying? Yes. You know we was out here in these streets and I don't know about you, but I know me in particular, like just kind of coming up, I know I bumped my head a lot. Yeah, right, and I know right. there's a lot about business pertaining to the music, you know what I'm saying, industry that I wasn't and too we jazzy we know on. how stingy they are with that business. You they don't tell, saying? they don't want to tell us. They, like. don't, they don't tell you anything. And if you don't have a mentor or someone you can trust, you know, or a management or whatever the case is, you just don't know, right? Right, right. And so that's how a lot of musicians end up getting played, you know what I'm saying, out of money or just not handling their business properly. You know what I'm saying? Because right. there's certain steps that you need to take as a musician. Right, and it ain't what you, not to cut you off, it yeah. ain't what you know is who you know. It is, but it's what you know too, though. Yeah, it it's is both. what you know. Yeah, 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 facts. <laughs> and like, somebody such as yourself is a good candidate to know. Like, yeah. that's crazy. So, um, like, what's been the best part of like this, this whole little process, like building a, you know, the academy, yeah, the academy like. you know what? I feel like the best part for me is just watching the musicians that I've mentored take off so much faster than I was able to. What? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, that's gotta be crazy. Yeah, it bro. is, it is. Cause you know, when you put that work in and it's just like, you've learned so much and you kind of mastered it to be able to like give back and assist these musicians with these resources that just wasn't easily available when right. I was out here. You know what I'm saying? It just, or I really didn't know where to go. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Or how to like maneuver, or how to network properly. Right. That was kind of my problem. And I feel like I had to just learn all that. So just seeing the musicians that I work with be able to like perform at festivals all within like a year. You get what I'm saying? Perform at festivals, songs getting played. You get what I'm saying? On a radio quicker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you um, gotta, you gotta have a good heart to be yeah. able to do this because like people, when we was coming up, people was, Hating, they 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 kind of they kind of hated on the uh, on the people coming up under you uh -huh. and like saying a little condescending shit. Yep. Like, boy, this this is my experience. Yep. Say a little condescending what, shit. Okay, like, so what was your experience? I want to know Ooh, what was your experience. Geez. Like right, honestly, because I, I got some stories. I, uh, I asked the guy. I, I ain't gonna drop no names. I, yeah. ain't I asked the guy, and I'm like, uh, like for, for instance, I'm engineer, and I'm right. like, man, like how you how you do that engineering stuff. I asked him two questions. I asked mm -hmm. him, how you do this, how you do that, how you get it to sound like that. Dude put a he put a big ass laughing face and he said Ooh. he said come shop with me that's how mm. like bro I'm I'm reaching out so then like I waited a little bit I feel some type of way about that so mm. I, you know I went to school got my engineering or whatever so then I asked him another question yeah yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 uh, <laughs> so I asked him another question you know regarding <laughs> paperwork and business and he like he pretty much said the same shit like. Mm. Like come, come shop with me. Like I get the networking aspect, yeah. but like don't be condescending. Like or just you know 
hit me up, call right. me or something like that. Right. So that's yeah. basically what I'm getting. Your turn, your turn. <laughs> well, you know what? I feel like my experience was more so people trying to take advantage of me. You get what I'm saying? I'm a black female, you know, musician coming up in Milwaukee. You get what I'm saying? Uh, when I was popping out, like, I don't feel like there, I mean, there was like a few women, you know what I'm saying? Kind of mm -hmm. like popping their thing off or whatever. But I'm more, I'm more, I more so felt like people, men in particular, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come join the team. Let me manage you. Let me do this. Let me do that. You know, my first experience, my very first experience was doing like talent shows and kind of just getting played, you know, out of money and things like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Just not knowing the business. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, not knowing. Like just you are knowing. you are entity in yourself. Yeah. And like, why are you trying to boss me? You like, know what I'm saying? Know? Well, not even boss, like not even like, that, but more so just like don't try to take advantage of like younger, newer people. But that will happen if you don't know what you're doing. Right. You get what I'm saying? If you don't do contracts, if you don't have, you know, things in place, you feel me? Like people will kind of take advantage of you. So like, you know, it's it's been that, you know, and just, just catty people who see you coming up and then it's just like almost wanting to feel like it's a competition. You yeah, get what yeah, I'm saying? Right, right, right. And for me, it's never been a competition. Like I've never been in competition with anybody. Right, and that's, I've always been the you person. You can see you good-hearted, yeah. and you you giving out this knowledge. And you know what I get it from my mama though. You know what wow. I'm saying? My mom was like rest her so I just lost my mom this year. Oh, but man, my condolences. Thank you, I appreciate it. But um, my mom was just such a sweet caring person. So I just feel like I've embodied that from her. You know what I'm saying? Almost to the fact where like I don't even feel right trying to play somebody. I don't even feel right trying to use somebody because right. you don't get your blessings like that. And I was going to ask you that, too, like while we was on that same subject, those same people that tried to play you, like, where are they right now? Like, Couldn't tell you. I don't see them. Because <laughs> <laughs> listen, Couldn't tell man, you. Man. I don't see them. I'm tunnel vision. Man. Like, you know, even if they were out here, I wouldn't know. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Because I really just kind of like. I keep my eyes on my own thing, you feel right. me? Like what I got going on, because if you too busy watching whatever somebody else going on, how could you pour into what you got going mm -hmm. on? How could you really like push your business and excel, you feel me? Mm -hmm. If you worried about what the next person doing. So I don't pay attention to nobody. Facts. And it's you a big ass me? light at the end of that tunnel. Absolutely. That tunnel vision, like, jeez, yeah. I see it. I see it. So yep. um, so this this academy, like uh like what's what's some of your favorite artists that you push in that in that academy like i know I you got know. some see people ask me that but let me tell you the truth i'm Drop gonna, tell, names, I'm gonna tell you the truth well i can tell you you know what i'm saying shout out to protege shout out to j dub shout out to daryl lynn Ooh, uh tiffany you drop dime this up names. Uh, you know tiffany dime uh, all of them in that Lucy academy Lou slid through um <sighs> alexa biami slid through one time April, May, my girl, she signed up. You know, we still trying to work out something. I see you know? why you ain't got no favorites. That's a roster right yeah, there. Like, like, but you wow. know what? I, absolutely. You know, and it's just like, I don't have no favorites. I'm just, I meet musicians where they are. Like, I got fresh mm. new musicians who enter. And I got, you know, I named some women who had already been out here. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more important that, you know what I'm saying? They trust me. You feel me? Right. And trust what I can do. And I'm only out to give like knowledge and game. You feel me? That right. I have obtained and learned over the 15 years I've been kind of doing this. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? So Don't with stop, that being stop said. Stop throwing numbers out there, man. You making me feel, oh. I mean, it ain't, it's wisdom. Yeah, facts, facts. You feel facts, me? So facts. I don't look at it like, oh, because I'm still young. What you yeah, talking facts. about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, let me shut up. I'm talking to a woman. I forgot. I can't put no number. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, like, facts. honestly, you know, we're still youngins in this. You yeah, feel me? We're not out here, you know, and even if I was 50 or 40 or whatever the case is, it's like when you're true to what you love, it ain't no age limit on it. You yeah, feel facts. me? You do it because you love it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Facts. Not because you put an expiration date on when you're done you or how far you to me. go. You better talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Me. Like, for real, yeah, you know? Facts. So I don't have no favors to answer your question. I feel like every musician I work with, they genuinely come in and they genuinely learn something. You feel right. me? And they genuinely apply it and and do what they need to do. They they doing dope things, man. I can't even, I can't even do anything but sit back and look and smile and be like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's that <laughs> not hating energy. I like to oh, be nah, around, mm -hmm. man. Jeez. So how far how far do you plan on taking this academy? Like where you see it, like in the next couple of years? Wow, time? you know what? Uh, shout out to my bro at Timeless Studio. Uh, you know my bro JJ. Um, that's where I hold my music academy. Uh, Fueling your fire mm. is at Timeless Studio downtown. Uh, I just where I see myself in five years. It's just honestly expanding, uh, getting a bigger space, a bigger building. Because essentially, what I want to create is a is a hub. 
You get what I'm saying? I want to create a hub <clears throat> of a creative space where not only musicians can come, but any type of creatives can come, whether it's, you know, models, designers, um, you get what I'm saying? Anybody who just need a creative space to create, that's what I see myself kind of doing, right? Creating a whole one-stop shop entity. And right now, you know what I'm saying? It's just myself. It's just me, myself, and I, you know, but I've attracted yeah. the um, attention of Milwaukee County uh, Youth and Family Services. So I had just went into my second going on third year contract with them um, serving their youth. Uh, you know, they're at risk youth, you know, my, 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 poor, my, my little babies who've been out here just, you know, up to some naughty things. They need outlets. That's they why do. they're doing these things. They, they don't have anywhere to go in these safe places to kind of hone in on the talents that they had. These kids be talented Man. for real. Wow. They be so talented. And I look back like, dang, I'm only doing what I wish I had when I was their age. I started when I was 14, 15, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Doing music, you know what I'm saying? So being able to work with these babies and see how much they're genuinely happy to come to my program. They not missing dates. They trying to see when they can come back in. I got kids who've aged out of my program. Like, Kaylee, Miss Kaylee, can I come back? I'm like, oh yes, baby, come back. You get what I'm saying? Man. Because it's not only just come and then when you're done with the cycle, you're done. Now I'm trying to create like a lasting mentorship. Like contact me at any time in the period of your life for anything, not just music. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, so that's dope. Yeah, I have I have some plans, man. I have some plans. That, I just want to expand and create and just push this and just you know really be that powerhouse, you know, in the city. Just trying to do great things for the community, man. Jeez, ultimately, like, said, you know, we kind of I need to get I need to get up in that because that's crazy. We we kind of talked about that, but I gotta <laughs> I gotta man. So uh, you you said you got uh, other business ventures yeah. that you that you type. So let's touch on those. Absolutely. So uh, I've started a, a beauty business. Uh, I love all things pertaining to beauty. You know, I've always have. I love doing hair. I love doing makeup. I love like looking good. I love self care. You know what I'm saying? I love um, just taking care of myself as a woman. So it just made sense for me to slide into the beauty industry. Um, so currently what I do is I uh, am a body sculpting, a licensed body sculpting specialist. So any woman who want to get right for the summer, you know, lose some inches, you know, just relax and unwind. That's what I do. And I also teach with that as well. <laughs> so I also teach women how to become certified in body sculpting. It's a billion dollar industry, you know. So, um, yeah, like, you know, what, like what, what is body sculpting? I, I heard that yeah. so many times. Like, what is it? Like, what? So body sculpting is basically a, a non-invasive way to help women drop down, shrink inches. You know how women will go for your traditional liposuction, BDL mm -hmm. treatments? Mm -hmm. That's invasive surgery. Okay. You know, that means you have a doctor going in with a cannula, sucking out fat, and it's invasive, and the, the, the recovery process is long, and, you know, women die, you know, from getting those Correct. cosmetic procedures. Where body sculpting is non-invasive, so it's not anything that you can get up after you're done with the treatment and go about your day. It's not mm -hmm. harmful to your body, you know, um, over a course of time. You got to come in for multiple sessions, but over a course of time, your body will, you know, uh, melt out the fat that we have kind of like broken down just naturally. So it's mm -hmm. a natural way to kind of like reshape your body as opposed to going into a surgeon. So that's kind of what I do. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. nice. So if they want to get in touch with you regarding that, how do they? How oh, do they you get know, y'all can just find me. Uh, so it's a uh, uh, www.elitebeautybodysculpting.com. So I have a website. You can go in there. Uh, you can reserve a class, or you can come in for treatments. You know, um, make sure whenever y'all are going to anyone, whether it's anything, you know, check Google check reviews you know i'm a review head you know yeah, so if y'all want to like review your girl and see the amazing responses my clients and my students have left y'all can see that you know whenever i do something i do it wholeheartedly and i do it to make a difference and an impact so yeah you know that business venture has been going great um and i do ex you know e eventually plan on expanding that as well but you know i'll be trying to rush myself yeah, you know okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay you know yeah. so um but yeah that's that's an amazing um business that i've uh gotten into as well so. okay fact facts man y'all make sure y'all tap in today <laughs> so um all right you you basically teaching music or whatever mm -hmm. like has that taken away from your music you got any new music you, you know music? i you know what i will say i did take a hiatus um and my hiatus was more so for mental health my hiatus was to just kind of like rejuvenize myself but also i wanted to focus on other things obviously you know i've, I've went into my business ventures right but absolutely i do plan on dropping new music you know next year i have been recording working on new content you know so it hasn't taken away it's just like 
I knew in my mind and in my heart and my body that I just needed a healthy break. You know, when you're doing something for so long, it's okay to shift gears. Yeah, facts, right? facts. You know what I'm saying? But I'm music at heart, right? This is my core. It's not going anywhere. I'm a creative. So I'm always gonna create, you know. Copy what I'm that. So mm-hmm. what kind of what kind of music can we expect? Like you took this, like what kind you know of- what? I feel like over this time, I've just grown mentally. I've grown just spiritually. Um, you know, so the substance that I'll have, you know, is definitely still very much strong woman. You know, what I'm saying popping my ish. You know what I'm saying? But it's 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 different. You know. Right. It's different. It's the it's the grown woman, bossy Kaylee. You yeah, know facts, that you're gonna hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Facts. So I, I'm pretty sure, like a, a lot of y'all probably remember this. This face got to look super familiar to y'all. Like she, she was on Netflix. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what was yes. it called? Rhythm and Rhythm and Flow. Rhythm and Flow. Yes, With it is. Uh, Netflix. Ti yep. and Cardi. Yep. What was that? Chance experience? the rapper. Like, Chance. Uh-huh. Chance. Chance the one that selected me actually. Jeez. Shout mm-hmm. out Chance, man. <laughs> Shout out Big Chance. Big Chicago, man. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? That's crazy. You but, know uh, what? Like, what was that um, experience like? That experience was actually, it was crazy. It was crazy, right? Because when you look at Milwaukee and when you look at the opportunities that musicians get from Milwaukee, it's very slim pickings. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it and it takes so long. You feel me? And I just felt like for a, you know what I'm saying, a young black girl from Milwaukee to get selected to be on a Netflix competition. Man, you literally took Milwaukee was like. Yeah. <laughs> Not throw it over the shoulder. Throw your back, like <laughs> what? Yeah, like, you know, it was crazy. And for them to tell me that out of 100,000 applicants, they narrowed it down to 30 individuals across from across the country. So what was your network like after that? Like, what was it? I know. It was Man, crazy. numbers just went up. <laughs> like, numbers just went up. Like, I ain't even going to lie. Numbers went up. <laughs> like, they definitely did. It definitely they did. Women lied, men lied. Oh, yeah. No, no. Like, honestly, my following just kind of, like, shot up. And it was, and it's crazy because it's still on Netflix currently. They didn't take it off. It's definitely still mm. up there. So I'm constantly getting people still, like, sliding in my DMs like, oh my God, you were phenomenal. Why did they like have you off of there? Like, why? you know what I'm saying? That, like, that's gotta be so. It whew. is, it's Jeez. crazy, it's crazy. But the experience was super dope. You know, it's, it's always gonna be one of those experiences I'll never forget, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Right. So you around all these industry folks and all that, man. So like if you would collab with an industry person, somebody from the industry, who would it be? Like, who would you pull up? You know what? I like glow. <sighs> I glow. I like glow Glade, right now. Glow right? is crazy. That'll be a crazy. Collab. I like glow because she, she, you know, in the words of my my baby Kim, she be barking. And Kim like, Kaylee, you be barking. <laughs> Kaylee be barking for real. <laughs> so Kaylee. it's like I was like, ooh, that blend to be super saucy. You know what I'm saying? She super new. You know, she knew she hungry. You know, she came out with a very distinct sound, right? Like she ain't sounding like the other girls, and I love that. You know, she got that hardness to her, yeah. and I feel like my man, you know, y'all my hashtag kind glow real and put, put her in this interview, man. We got we gonna make <laughs> we gotta slide. make that happen, man. We gotta make that happen, man. So yeah, I'm proud of her, man. That progress and it, it's crazy how you know one thing could really change your life. One single one opportunity one chance one you know what i'm saying one connection you know could really change your life so that's dope i'm, I'm happy for her facts you know? all right so we're gonna get this we got this new little segment of the show where we just drop words and mm-hmm. you just tell me okay what you think about them okay whatever you gonna drop you gonna drop i'm, some I'm just say a word you got right you gotta run me through it i, I, I gotta i got all right i'm gonna say a word okay. just one word and you just tell me specifically what you feel about it okay all right, that's word. interesting. All right, okay. come on. Let me see. All right, our first word is going to be struggles. And what I think about that word? Mm-hmm. So struggles, huh? <laughs> Talk and to so me. I'm just, what am, am, okay, so I'm trying to understand. <laughs> Talk so to when me. you say struggle, I'm giving you what? What you feel, how you feel about it. like How I feel about struggling? Yeah, struggles? Struggles, just the word struggles. Yeah, I'm, I'm being as vague as I possibly can. Okay. I want you to get. Okay, well, struggles. Um, I feel like everyone has them, but you don't lose the battle until you quit. So that's what I feel about struggles. Jeez, okay. Um, mentorship. Needed. Everyone needs mentorship. 
if I had mentorship, I would have propelled so much further than I have, but I'm very appreciative of every wise person that I've met in my journey that has made an impact. So everyone should get a mentor in whatever industry you're in. It's always wise to gain those 10,000 hours someone has obtained through their experience in their life and learning from it so you can excel quicker. So mentorship is needed, yeah. Family. Family is who you make it. Don't always have to be blood related. And I say that because throughout my journey, I love my family, but I found family to be the best friends that has always been there and supported me, never gave up on me. And so a lot of my best friends I consider sisters. And I wouldn't think blood could make us any closer. Nice, so family nice. is who you make it. Alright. Uh This this is gonna be super bad. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some too. <laughs> Catch you up Copy that. Copy that. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> All right. Business. Start one. <laughs> Today. <laughs> no, seriously, man. Look, if y'all have been feeling like y'all tired of that job, if y'all been feeling like it's something better out there for you. If you've had a plan you've been sitting on, procrastination is a dream killer. You know what I'm saying? Like, start that business, do something to get it going. One of the things that I could tell y'all about businesses when I just launched my newest one, my newest body sculpting business, here's some real tea. I was scared. I was scared. But I knew that I'm the type of person that if I go in, I'm going to be dedicated and committed, and I just had to pray on it. You know what I'm saying? And when I tell you that has been one of my most successful businesses that has excelled super quickly and financially has been amazing. Clearly. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if I hadn't start, I wouldn't have been able to see, you know what I'm saying? That right. progress and that, you know, financial freedom that I, that I have. You get what I'm saying? So start that business copy that so uh all right that's the end of that segment you got some words for me you said you I got do. some words I'm for just me throw off the top. <laughs> let's go let's go already already love oh she's um love is needed like definitely I don't, I don't know how how you want what direction you want to go with how, what, like you said whatever right. you feel I'm gonna, when I I'm going to take it particularly to go like ahead. a relationship because like love is needed ain't nothing like the support of your loved one mm -hmm. like and uh in a sense like I just put this up it's funny y'all got to be homies there ain't nothing like mm. you, you know what I'm saying when y'all homies like when y'all just like not judgmental to each other Absolutely. you just like accept each other as y'all are and y'all homies and you just it's like, it's such a better feeling. They make you want to get out here and fight the world. Absolutely. So. So, yeah. Okay, I love that. I love that you do have to be homeless. You do have to be a person who, um, you know, start that friendship with an individual before y'all just go into like romantic or sexual. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, unless that's what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> what though, Yeah, <laughs> yeah what though, like, yeah. <laughs> All right, fatherhood. Fatherhood. Man, man that's the best thing ever. For real, because uh, I mean, it give you it give you purpose. It give you like when I ain't had no kids, I, I was just out here just mm. it just you know wow you know just whatever like yeah you, you want to do what like now I, I'm like nah bro like what's what's the cause like what we what's what's in it for exactly. me like what I gotta you know I can't just come home empty handed you know for so sure. it just gave me give me purpose so I love that fatherhood yeah. gives you purpose yeah that's beautiful yeah. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I be saying stuff like randomly, right? Mm -hmm. And me and my sis Kia, like whenever we together and we say like a quote. Man, what up, Kia, dope. man? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my sis Kia, Red Prince. You know what I'm saying? Red Princess. You know what I'm saying? She been out here doing her big one. You know, I love you, sis. Yeah. Um, but whenever me and my sis say something that like just makes sense just so like beautifully, we be like, we got to coin it. Oh, that's Put beastie. that on a shirt. I'm still in that, man. I'm still in that. You got that, like, you know? I'm so, still in that. Podcast, last one. Oh, she. 
Um, I'm going to give a, a vague word to that, and I'm just going to use the word culture. Yeah. Um, voice. I'm just going to give words that it's, it's just giving us a voice that that we didn't have before. Absolutely. And we could just get out here and reach the masses without, you know, the radio or yeah. broadcast TV and stuff like that. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I ask you like a little? I'm sorry. Not yeah, to, yeah, not yeah, just yeah. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm the guest right now. I'm the guest now. <laughs> hey, son, make sure you check both, check both cameras. Not me. <laughs> yeah, no, can, I, can I really ask you? Because I, I feel like, you know, I know you from being out here, you know, as a musician, as back in the day, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then for you to start this, this is like super dope, super amazing. So, what, you. like, you know, besides obviously needing that platform, like, what else kind of like drove you to like want to start this, right? Mm -hmm. like, okay. Uh, man, that's crazy. I'd be wanting people to interview me too sometimes. All right, I mean, so you can always have actually, your girl come on. <laughs> you feel me? Let's work, man. Let's work because I'm looking for more content too. Yeah, I got for a, sure. You know, I just got syndicated. I'm on iHeart, Pandora, everything, man. Love so, it. so I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you for everybody that's been supporting too. Love but it. um, actually, I've been um, I've been doing this. Like uh, when I was 14, I was working for Channel Four. 14. I was working oh, for Channel wow. 14. I was See, working I would have never known that. Yeah, so was, this is why you need your interview. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I was working with, uh, I was actually the cameraman for D-Rock. Uh, he had his oh, own yeah. show for channel, on Channel 14 on cable. Yeah, I was the engineer back there. So, like, I, I've always been, like, behind the scenes, like, you know, messing with cameras and stuff like that. And then, you know, I, I went on, started running the streets, and then, you know, came back to the music, got my own little studio, found out that I like sound. And went to school for videography after that. Absolutely and, love it. And just like, you know, just staying active. So there like, you go, man. Factuals. See, that's beautiful, factuals. right? It's like seeing the talent you have and just really pushing that. You know factuals. what I'm saying? And then, like, I love it. I love that you have so many, like, dope people on here kind of just showcasing themselves. You know, I learn about so many interesting people by watching your um, your shows. And I have a lot of interesting people for you, too. So if you ever oh, need man. guests. Bring them on. Bring them on. You know, for sure. Bring for them sure. on, man. Well, I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank I, you. I just want to tell you I'm proud of you. Man. <laughs> Mutual respect. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? But, see, I'm glad that we uh, that we redid this interview, too. Yeah. Because, like, this Did you is tell them? Yeah, yeah. This interview is we done. Like, yeah, we had sound problems. And I was like, Go figure. I'm talking about being an engineer, so we had sound problems, and yeah, so it's all, good. It, it's all dope, man. And we had we we keep it on reaching high yeah. this is and we're gonna keep it pushing. So Absolutely. with that said, man, like you know, I'm being interviewed by Kaylee Crossfire. <laughs> right? no, 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 but what's uh, so Coming what's down. next? What's next in uh, for 2023? What you got? Coming you really want to know? I really, really, really. You really want to know. know? Yeah, what's that? Then? A podcast. Ooh, talk to me, <laughs> talk to me, talk nice too, talk nice. A podcast, yeah, uh, it's something that I have been kind of sitting on and thinking about um, for a minute, you know, and then just also kind of like seeing it in other people, right? Like, you know, I see certain things, it's so crazy, like, I don't know if people are super religious, but I consider myself really spiritually inclined. Right. And like, sometimes I'll get feelings or sometimes I can see something in someone before they can see it. Mm -hmm. And so like, it was, it's a friend of mine that I, I've been telling him for the longest, like dog, I can see you starting a podcast. Like I can see it, I can see it, you know, and other people as well, right? And mm -hmm. then I was just sitting there thinking myself, like, I can see myself having yeah. a podcast, right? And it's right? funny that you say that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you say that because I be like sometimes you you be talking to somebody and you you be giving them like these pointers like you should do this you should do that mm -hmm. but in a sense you talking to yourself correct like, you, you know you, what I'm saying you talking to yourself right like, and it's it's super old schoolish like follow your own advice like you know what i'm saying like yeah, man, yeah. You, see, you heard that like follow, like, your, follow own your own advice and yeah. so you know i feel like uh you know i'm not gonna get into the details of like the podcast but it's definitely gonna be something that's also needed it's gonna be something a little different you know but it's it's definitely gonna be something like super fun y'all you know look I mean? out you better bring me yeah. on the show and interview me again man Oh, you got to interview course. me again, man. I got some shit to talk about. <laughs> Let's go. Of course. So I do intend to have that coming uh, for 2023. And uh, I am also going to be dropping an ebook. Um, I've had... This woman out here working, bro. <laughs> I, and you know what, I, you know, all I can say is like, follow my social media, Kaylee Crossfire across all social media. These things are coming. You know, I'm a, I'm a person. I don't rush, you know, greatness. I just let it come. You get what I'm saying? So they're coming. 
dates I don't have, but they're all coming. There, I always set goals for every year. Facts. You know what I'm Jeez. saying? So my 2023 goal is to launch my podcast and drop an ebook, and that ebook is for musicians. I've had so <laughs> many. <laughs> yes, well, I've had you. so many um, musicians contact me. You know, obviously from just like across the country. And I'm like, dang, like, you know, asking about the academy, but obviously I'm stationed here. Yeah, you only and I'm one like, person. You, you know what I'm saying? Reach so many. So, you know, I, I got some I got some jewels that I'm going to be dropping and, you know, just making that readily available for all. You know what I'm saying? So, man, yeah. I, man, I hope all the best for you, man. <laughs> I definitely you. hope. Man, Thank y'all make sure you. y'all tune in, man. Miss Kaylee Crossfire, man. This is a Crossfire. Yeah. <laughs> beast the interview man i thank you for coming to the show thank again you. man yes, facts, absolutely facts, i'll bring you on thanks man bring y'all, you on the y'all, y'all stay too. tuned man i'm gonna be on kaylee crossfire <laughs> uh, on her podcast 2023 man but yeah man we're gonna wrap this up you know we had to pick the brain the kaylee crossfire yeah you feel me did i say, Wait, say that again right? say it again no nah, i ain't gonna say that again you gotta be best up. but uh yeah man y'all make sure y'all tune in man y'all share this man y'all uh support like all the above, man. And uh, you already know what time it is, man. You rocking out with your boy Sir Quinn and Kaylee Cross. Fire! <laughs> Cross fire, yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all shut up and hustle. We out. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up.